Neither friend nor foe, but a little bit of both. In the shifting sands of Middle East relations, Saudi Arabia and Turkey have an increasingly fraught relationship. With the arrival of Mohammed bin Salman and his assertive foreign policies, the nation's history of close ties is now on the rocks. Heavyweights in the region vying for influence, there have been strains before. After the Saudi blockade of Qatar last year, Ankara sent troops there. The Turkish government has staunchly supported Qatar, for both nations have long been allies of the Muslim Brotherhood, much to the disapproval of the Saud family that sees them as terrorists. And with the wars in Syria and Yemen, Turkey has been trying to maintain its place at the table, even at times getting closer to Iran. Now the latest tension, the disappearance of Saudi journalist Jamal Hakshakshi, could further complicate things. We've had a long and complex relationship that appeared to have... Uh erupted a number of occasions over the past couple of years. And I think this is this is one of those instances that could really topple, topple things over into a, a new period of, of frosty relations. But the Saudi-Turk relationship is also marked by common interests, namely economic ones. Saudi Arabia is thought to have invested over a billion dollars in Turkey last year. And then there's tourism. Over half a million Saudis visited in 2017 and spent heavily. When it comes to property, Saudis are the number one foreign buyers in Turkey. And the kingdom is a major market for Turkish companies. The weight of these economic ties will be tested if an investigation proves that the Saudis had a hand in the journalists' disappearance. Recep Tayyip Erdogan would have to decide between business or asserting his nation's sovereignty.